Hi Leos and welcome to your December 2021 general tarot forecast. This is Sky coming on to talk to you about a very interesting month ahead of December. Um, your energy strikes me as one of the most um, standing out energies of the month as I'm getting to your reading. Um, I've just poured a lovely hot cup of um, turmeric, ginger, and citrus tea. And um, at this point, it is too hot to drink, and it is steeping, and I kind of feel the same about your energy, Leo. I feel that something is too hot, I feel that something is too fresh, too raw, and too um, overwhelming to really process or take in. Um, also, if you were to try to do it right now, I think that you would either um, burn yourself or um, not reap the benefits of the uh, proverbial tea that you're drinking. So we have a bit of a steeping phase for you right now. Um, you know, you've had Jupiter and Saturn on your axis for the last, like, year, okay? Um, Jupiter is moving sign into Pisces, and there's kind of a feeling that you want to get out of that steeping phase and move into, you know, more of a place where you feel that the way you're living, the way that you're uh, taking in your life is at a perfect flavor and at a perfect level of nutrition. Um, so yes, jumping right into it today, um, things are going to work themselves out, I think, by the end of this month. Uh, any you know, quandaries that you've been trapped in, unsolvable problems, um, you have the chance by the end of this month to kind of um, feel more resolute about them, like even if you know that you're not making changes, even if you know that you've still gotta bide your time. As I, that's kind of what I'm feeling, biding of time, energy of steeping. Um, it's not quite time yet for something here, um, but you've got to kind of know something as well. Having the emperor as your only major arcana card, you want to just, you, you want to know the state of things. You want to know so that you can make a better decision or so that you can uh, get good or move on, basically. Um, that is the feeling being evoked by this uh, spread too, like um, not knowing whether to accept what is currently given to you or to maybe sacrifice it or um, place it aside and move into a new way. Um, as some of you know, I'm doing 2022 year ahead forecast content right now and I'm in the process of creating that and I've got to say the year of 2022 is going to really force us to know whether we settle or whether we reach for something new. It's unlikely with Jupiter and Pisces that we're going to leave everything behind. Um, things can change form, things can change shape, things can become more or less um, adjusted, but I doubt that there's really a possibility for complete like resurfacing. I mean, unless you've got a bunch of Scorpio in your chart and even then it's doubtful. Um, basically, um, I feel many Leos are kind of like tired of their current output, tired of what they're having to do every single day. And also kind of feeling like you went to the back burner, you know, like maybe you were just kind of getting your backlog taken care of. Maybe you were um, trying to optimize your life instead of pursuing a bunch of new stuff. And I kind of feel like there's a relationship uh, either with, especially actually with romantic, romantic relationships, something coming up with that this month too, like assessing your current relationship status has a lot of bearing here actually more so than you think and, and understanding if this whether you're single or whether you're coupled you know is it working is it right it might very well be but oftentimes these kind of unresolvable things that i'm feeling is so much a part of your energy right now oftentimes those are so prevalent it has to do with maybe not really being in the right relationship place as we kind of maybe have a weird uh, relationship with time because of that. Um, anyway, Leos, there is, you can already feel this Pisces energy of Jupiter coming in, you know, it's kind of uh, limitless. There's a feeling of um, not being able to define things very easily. None the, and, and it's kind of like constantly shifting, right as I want to talk about one point, I'm drawn to another, so on and so forth. And that's very much the energy. If you can see the nine of pentacles and the emperor, that's very leonine. That's beautiful for you. But here we also have this four of swords reversed, four of pentacles, uh, nine of wands reversed, scared if I don't work enough, I won't make my ends meet, um, not really letting myself rest and recover, um, holding on for dear life to something that I'm still kind of unsure about. These are all things that we have to face this month. And um, thinking about each of those 
uh, potentialities is a good place to start, but I think that you're going to overcome it. And I, I'm really feeling like by the, even the second week of December that you're going to be making some decisions. And then the third week there's going to, I mean, we'll get to it in the week to week, but like you have to really mull things over, gather your thoughts. Okay. Let's talk about the week to week, Leo. First week, you've got nine of wands reversed, rooted down by nine of pentacles reversed. It's a little bit discordant. Okay. That solar eclipse is happening and it's a little bit that it's kind of like that for everyone. But you're going to know, like, I can never work at this capacity again. I can never do some of the stuff I've done this year again. I can never, ever find myself in this level of personal disbelief. Um, you know, try to distance yourself. A Knight of Pentacles reversed. It's like um, too many little things all over the place. Like I'm going to, you know, ooh, I can't even wrap my mind around it. It's like... Through working three different part-time jobs, I can have enough flexibility to start my business and then I can start dating. And it's like, that's way too scattered. We've got to maybe consolidate our efforts here and simplify a lot of what we're undertaking. Okay, you're working too hard for something. And it shows. Uh, Leo is not a sign that overworking looks very good on. There's something about things being effortless for your sign that channels your energy better. It doesn't mean they are effortless, but if things are starting to look hard, especially like people are seeing like, oh, that Leo person is really pushing to make that happen. Like that's when your energy can start to um, not really be you because like that's very much like Cancer and Virgo, right? Like the two signs on either side of you. And that means that either you're having an evolutionary or de-evolutionary crisis probably, and there's probably just a need to move into a new type of um, I don't know, way of life. So week number two, you've got nine of pentacles rooted down by the emperor. This is really like good stuff here. You know, finishing something, being in the place where it's no longer difficult, though it's ending, reaching some type of climax. Um, you are rewarded for a lot of effort and now you were here. Now what do we do? You know, it's a really nice place to make a decision there. It's a really nice time for you to get clear about what is going to serve as a foundation in your life it, from a very sober and um, real place. You know, what can stand the test of time? What is not a fad? What is um, essential and foundational to you as a person? From that place, you can know how to move forward here. Week number three, the two of swords reversed, rooted down by the four of swords reversed. Okay. <laughs> then we have to like actually leap and all of a sudden we wish we could rest instead and we want to rely on that secure foundation. So I don't think you need to, again, totally like lose track of your current momentum, but I do think that you need to maybe prepare to do so in, in um, the next year or so. Not for all Leos for sure, but... Um, I would definitely ask myself in the third week of December why this is so hard. <laughs> is this a mental thing? Is this a truly this difficult? Like what's going on? And um, how can we facilitate a better experience of life? There's going to be memories, okay, in the third week of December. Like probably good memories. Interesting. Remembering some of the times of your life previously where you felt you were thriving the most. And you're going to be surprised about what comes up there. It's not going to be like the first thing that comes to your mind. Like what you currently have bookmarked in your head is like, that was when I did good in my life. It's going to be somewhere else. And you're going to be like, yeah, that's not that hard to achieve now. Let's go there, you know. Very careful with no personal boundaries and refusing to allow yourself to rest or recover from something as well. Okay, you need to maybe make time for it in the third week. Week four, you've got the four of pentacles rooted down by the six of swords reversed. Yeah, we're refusing some kind of transition. We're refusing to let things evolve. We're refusing to let things move. So there's some kind of type of fear, and it makes sense. It's a global dynamic right now. For those of you who've seen my global dynamics video, um, check that out and get more information on this. But because of the current economic and uh, global instability, it's um, likely to compensate individually as a focus on securing something regardless of whether it's right or wrong, just to have that feeling of security. That's the exact energy combination there. 
what is the answer to that? I'm not positive. I'm not going to um, try to create an answer for that for you. That's very personal. That's very, you know, each person has to really choose themselves, like how they move forward with their life based on this uh, situation. I will say um, you might want to cut expenses. You might want to cut back on frivolous spending, frivolous uh, time management, because I'm feeling that you have everything that you need, okay, for now. For now, you've got every. There's no need for any type of, like, impulsive acquisition of anything. Because the universe is really wanting you to move forward with something, but that's blocked out because of this security focus. And um, I can only think that proving it to yourself or getting yourself into a place where you feel sturdy enough to make these changes, I think that that might be the only way through is a fixed sign. So um, try to not, for example, compensate by buying things and then, you know, strip yourself of this security focus and compel and force yourself into this stagnation indefinitely through spending time, money, energy, whatever. Let's talk about, about that more in your extended reading, Leo. So let's talk about um, getting good with what we have now and introducing more of a surplus mindset into our life across the board. In your extended reading on Patreon, I will go into that. Uh, you can click this interview screen now or um, find the link in the description box for it. Thank you, Leos. Have a wonderful month. Bye.